We're just back from Elkhart, Indiana, the RV capital of the world, where we are honored to be invited to host the RV Business Magazine's RV of the Year Awards for 2022. We managed to grab some quick RV tours of the finalists in between takes for the official RV of the Year video. Stick around to the end to learn more about the official RV of the Year announcement and winner. In this video, I do a behind the scenes interview with Rick Kessler of RV Business, who shares how they select the RV of the Year finalists and winner. Pretty fun that we're here at the RV Museum in Elkhart, Indiana, and there was a 1967 version of our 1973 Winnebago Indian that we recently burned in our RV fire safety video. If you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. This, of course, is in vastly superior condition, but it's still really fun to be similar era, just seeing what it was really meant to be in its glory. This is Rick Kessler, the executive editor of RV Business Magazine, and the reason we're here with Rick in Elkhart, Indiana, is because we're here for the RV Business Magazine's RV of the Year Awards for 2022. We thought it'd be super fun to be doing a filming a video about all the brand new innovations we've seen in 2022 inside something from the past. Yeah. But Rick, what do you, help us understand what goes into choosing the RV of the Year Award. Like, surely there's so many RVs, how do you choose and narrow it down? It, uh, it starts out we get a lot of help from the manufacturers and by that I mean we contact them to find out what they have new for that new model year right. and then we write stories previewing what their new lineup is going to look like. Mm -hmm. um, from that we get a basically some sort of list generated and then with that list we then go to America's largest RV show out in Hershey, Pennsylvania. A uh, week or so after that is the Elkhart RV Open House here in Elkhart, Indiana. That's where the manufacturers set up everything that they make for, for dealers to come look through. Right. And really from there, that's two pretty major shows, and we see just about everything that's new. That could be a hundred, maybe even more. Right. That's, that's what I figured. because There's got to be a lot of new innovations. And that was actually one of the things I was so excited about this year was just really seeing the passion and excitement from all these brand managers and the people that are helping product develop these products they had so much passion and excitement and and i was also super excited to see they are listening to what we're hearing from the people out there all kinds of new design and style but innovative features that i mean really thinking outside the box with chassis and structures and it was just really exciting to be here those innovations are what we look for when we make our RV of the Year selections. Right. And it's it's not just me making those selections, it's the editorial staff along with some other contributors that, that uh, we rely on. And it's, it's innovations, there's plenty of those to look for. Mm -hmm. We also look for design and quite often, and I'm an RVer, the designs kind of all look the same after, you've especially been <laughs> in an RV show, you've been in one, you've been in them all, right? <laughs> but uh, design, functionality, since, an armor, since we're RVers, you want to look, you can, can you see yourself actually using this? Right. Or is it just a gimmick that's really not going to work out very well? Right, yeah. The, the functionality, the usability of it, you know. And the functionality is also the serviceability. Mm. Because I, I know I've had to work on my water heater many times, not many, several mm. times. And if, if I can't get at it, if it's tucked behind an awkward cabinet, that's a tough that's a tough spot to be in yeah we've been talking about a lot of the innovation and so let's give a quick list of who those top five finalists are of course there's a longer list of honorable mentions but let's talk to the top five we have the east to west ahara a nice real nice fifth wheel All right. we have the ember rv overland micro series rock and rock stands for a rear outdoor kitchen that's an adventure camper as, as all get out yeah. uh, after that we would have the heartland cyclone and that's a almost 47 foot toy hauler yeah, it's big. <laughs> <laughs> but well done. Well done, yes. Keystone Arcadia, uh, super nice travel trailer, high end, terrific innovation going on. Last one, the Winnebago Echo, and that's a, a it's a B plus, but really a class C on the, on the um, uh, with a pop top roof for the extra seating, really styled after, after some things with, that we see coming out of Europe. Right, that was really interesting too. So, so we've got a great group of five, and then against the, the honorable mentions as well. How are we going to people going to hear, and when are you going to be announcing the actual overall winner? Well, with your help, we put together a nice little RV of the Year video uh, that's currently being edited, but it'll be that Monday, <laughs> November 15 at noon, rvbusiness.com. And we're going to share a little bit more of what we saw when during these tours on our channel at rvlove.com, of course. And uh, until then, we're just going to be excited to see who's the winner and share it with everyone else out there so thanks so much for watching and until next time we'll see you on the road 
Now go check out the other video tours and let us know which RV do you think will be the RV of the year for 2022. And remember to like this video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications, and watch all the videos in our RV of the year series. Thanks for watching.